Hey guys, Majeffries here, and welcome to what I believe is episode 28, I think, uh, of You Don't Win Anything With Kids, where we try to prove Alan Hansen wrong, in that yes, actually Alan, you can win things with kids. Um, in the last episode, it was a very short episode, uh, we just, we put a few players on the uh, development list, and we answered a question from a journalist, and we, you know, we didn't really do anything particularly exciting. Um, what I'm going to do quickly here is... I didn't want to do that at all. Where? They've changed all this. Um, I'm trying to find the list of players that I've put up for trans... Well, not for transfer, on the... Uh oh, crikey. <laughs> um, maybe someone can help me with that in the future. I'm looking to see where the players that I've put on the loan list are. And where the heck they've gone. I'm trying to get onto the um, development list. That's the one I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, where is it? It'll be around here somewhere. Oh, squad depth. That looked like something I could have done with. Yeah, I probably could have done it like this, actually, seeing who was good and... Uh, well, who was best and worst for each position. I'm sure it used to come under shortlist. What the... bloody hell. Oh, well. We'll have a quick look at our profile. And there we go. End of profile look. Right. We have got Hazen Yedding at home. Um, it's the first match of January, it's the first match of the new year, so Happy New Year to everybody, even though it's probably going to be about mid-December when this one goes live, but hey-ho. Right, Quintaka in goal. <coughs> Can't have Veer because he is suspended. So, uh, Klopmas will come in at right-back. Gareth, Gareth Jones will come in at left-back, and then we'll have the usual combination of Cartwright on the left side and Stevens on the right side. And then in midfield, we'll have Delamond on the right. We will have McGregor. No, we'll have McConnor, actually, on the left. And then we'll have Carino on the right side of midfield. We'll have Beckhold on the left side of midfield. We will have Bobo through the centre of midfield. And we will have Wilson Keith up front. And then we'll have the bench of O'Brien, uh, Calcutt, Robinson... Um, I was going to say Thompson, but he's still injured, so uh, kind of Federick, because he's an international duty. Ooh, actually, let's drop Calcutt from the bench. We will have... Uh, ooh, uh, Johnston? No, let's put... Hang on, start again. Right, McGregor in first, then Johnston, and then Drewson. There we go. Right. Hop to it. Post haste and all that jazz. Right. Warming up. Warming up. Warming up. Warming up. Play. Let's go. Looking to bounce back from the boring draw. And I didn't even look at how fit Beckhold was. He's on 82%. Let's hope he can survive to at least half time and then we'll assess him then. Um... Yeah, let's let's bounce back from the draw. We had two wins in our last two games, so let's try and make it three wins in a row. That's not a good start, Jones, bringing a man down. And the fact that they're showing this free kick being conceded. Oh, they're not going to show being taken. I'd say that normally they don't score from it, so uh, that's a rarity, actually, that they didn't. Um, anyway, Klopmas with a flick on there from Quintaka's kick. Carino switches it all the way across to Jones. That was a pretty good ball, actually. Jones down the line to Beckhold, sees McConnor in space, back out to Jones. These triangles are good, and I noted this against Gosport as well. They're good if you go somewhere. If you just keep passing between the same three players, eventually you're going to get shut down, and it's not very exciting to watch. Uh, there's an attack, and there's a goal. Be on side. Be on side. Be on side. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay. As I was saying, 
triangles are good if you go somewhere. And we did go somewhere there. Eventually we got the ball to Wilson and he passed it through. Carino offside. Probably should have held his run. Maybe Wilson could have seen that he was offside because he was looking along the line. Um, but before that, yeah, the triangle was good. It got us into a good attacking position and we nearly scored from it. So, take the positives. Um, we need to make more of those chances though. And we need to take those chances as well. Because we had, haven't had a shot on target yet. In fact, we haven't even had a shot. Whereas they've had a shot. It wasn't on target, but they had a shot. Right, let's see what Carino can bring up on this right-hand side. Interesting ball in. Came to Wilson. Back to Delamond. Through for Wilson. Good challenge from the defender I'd put that down to. Uh, Stevens closing down Reed. Stevens to tackle Reed, maybe. Come on. Come on, tackle him. Don't stand off him. Tackle him. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, oh, that's woeful defending. That very nearly cost us a goal. Luckily, Quintarka, he probably would have got to it. Um, and the shot was wide anyway, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, that just hit the crossbar. Don't know what the guy on the line was doing, but he didn't like he was anywhere near getting onto that. This, yeah, I'm worried now. This isn't going well. Where are Hazen Yedding in the lead? Not the lead, in the league. They're quite low down, actually. They're 14th. They're on 29 points. We're on 57, so they are 28 points behind us. Quick math, see? Always on the ball. Pun, pun. Um, yeah, we're 28 points ahead of them. We're also 15 points ahead of Eastleigh, who are, as you remember, the team that ended our unbeaten run earlier on in the season. Um, I think Beckhold would be okay to continue for now. It was, was it Marshall or Thompson we put on the bench? You can come on in the second half if he needs to. Uh, if Beckhold just needs to come off for a rest. That was poor from Carino. That was poor from Delamond. He's probably not tackling because he's been booked. We might bring him off as well just to toughen up the midfield again. Uh, if we bring McGregor on, they're going to have a really tough Highland midfield. Um, get stuck into everything. Probably end up with both of them sent off if we did that, actually. It's a bit of a gamble. Um... Clotmus has been booked as well, and uh, let me guess, second yellow. I swear he's only just been booked. Five minutes apart, it's two bookings, and he's been sent off. Well done, well done, Matthias. You might not be able to hear this, guys, but I am clapping. Matthias Clotmus, biggest clot of them all. Uh, I suppose whilst I'm here, I might as well bring. Ah, uh, it's Johnston. Bring Johnston on for Beckhold, and I'll move Bobo out on the left. I'm going to move Delamond back to the right back position. And I'm going to bring him off and bring Robinson on. There we go. So we're sacrificing Delamond, who was probably going to get sent off anyway. Uh, so now we've got a clean team. No yellow cards out there at all. And we've also used that as an opportunity to rest Beckhold, rest his injury for the next match. Uh, put Bobo out on the left, see if he's a bit more dangerous. If not, we can just move Johnston out there. So uh, interchangeable. It's very good. Alright, Bobo with the free kick into Robinson. Oh, there we go. 1-0. Niall Robinson. He's been on the pitch for just around 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe 5 minutes, 5-10 five, minutes. And he's scored. So, and Bobo being out on that left-hand side, taking the free kick. I'd say I'm a tactical genius for making that change. That's a really good header from Robinson. Stretched for it. Managed to get a good connection and didn't head it over the bar. So, you can't ask for more than that from a... a dangerous position like that so yeah happy 1-0 um, we're winning dirty which is in some cases one of the best ways of winning to really get stuck in make the other team work for it and then sneak in behind them and, and score um, we've got 13 minutes left of this match we've got a sub left we've got 8 minutes left of this match now uh, we've got McConnor on a yellow card Let's see what develops from this attack first. From Wilson. He needs to hit it early. That's a good save. While there's a break, we're going to bring McGregor on for McConnor. Because he's tired and he's also on a booking. So, again, it will hopefully prevent him getting sent off and it gives him a rest. Right, Bobo with the corner. That was an appalling cross because there was nobody at the far post. I should probably change that in the tactics, actually, to have someone attacking that far post. But I don't really know who. Um, 
Anyway, uh, you know, we'll move on from that. It's not a biggie. McGregor has come on. McConnor has gone off. Bobo with good pressure there, winning the ball. Gets it back from McGregor. Gives it back to McGregor. Passes it through for Johnston. Uh, we haven't seen much of Johnston recently. As you remember, he had a flying start to the season, but um, he sort of tailed off a little bit, so we, we started bringing Crinio in a bit more. Um, and Bobo through the middle. You know, I'm always willing to give a player another shot, so we'll bring him. We brought him back in. We'll see how he does. Um, nope, I thought McGregor was going to get booked there. He just got a warning instead. So that's not too bad. Um, we'll see how this pans out, though, because I, I don't really like my players giving away free kicks. I like them getting stuck in and winning the challenge. And, you know, I say fighting dirty, but I don't mean it in, like, getting sent off and booked all the time. I mean, like, they're willing to, to throw themselves in front of anything to try and protect the lead or to try and get the lead or just to stop the other team scoring. Um, that was a good save. Uh, so, yeah, I like, my, I like committed teams, but not overly committed teams, if that makes sense. So I don't want them getting sent off. I don't want them flying in for dangerous challenges. I just want them to, to win the ball and keep the ball. And as long as they can do that, I'm happy. Right, that's an interesting cross from McGregor. Stevens nearly got his head to it. Um, I was going to say Jones was going to get onto that, but uh, it cut off before we, see, we saw whether he actually did or not. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually going to be the end of the match. 1-0 win. We'll wait for the referee's whistle, just in case. It's a bit. There we go. One nil. Okay. Well done, boys. That was a pretty good game. We'll take that. We fought to the bitter end. We really, really fought for that. We we played dirty. Okay, I can say it in the the actual sense this time because Klopmas got sent off. Um, he will be getting a fine for that. Actually, normally I end the episode on this section, but I am going to. Give him a one-week fine for that. He thinks it's unfair. I don't, because he nearly cost us the match with his stupidity getting sent off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the episode on this screen for a change. You know, we get a bit of variety in this series every now and then. Um, and this episode is also a few minutes shorter than normal. I think we flew through that match because of all the lack of action. Um, so anyway enough chit chat and wasting time it's time to do the end of video spiel so thank you very much guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to click the subscribe button wherever it may be today uh, if you have subscribed to my channel thank you for your continued support and until next time guys I will see you soon